I think architecture fascinating me because you're building your thought, you're building your concept, your philosophy, but this is a physical proof. You're behind the scene. Most people, they don't come to your building because of your name. So they will judge from their perspective. And eventually in the future, 50 years, even after you die, people will judge. At the same time, they will be influenced by this. Right? So, so the physical form representing your background, your culture, your, your values somehow become a starting point for the future cultural landscape. Even sometimes when you build something and people start to argue, debating about uh, your architecture, it's really some kind of a uh, feeling I like. As you can see, MAD is a, a word with also attitude. We see our practice with a very critical attitude towards contemporary architecture. We often want to create future, so-called futuristic architecture by re-look at the nature and human relationship in different kind of architecture. I think our office is very young. A lot of uh, young designers with a very diverse background. Within our team, we have several team members from Australia. We, we see our team as a cultural hub, you know, like uh, exchanging ideas. I think South Bank Babiola is an interesting project because it's location and time. Melbourne is a very, I mean, it's in Australia and it's not a central Europe or a typical American city. Basically a city surrounded by beautiful nature. If you look at the high rise around us, you don't recognize them. You, they're very typical and they're following kind of a typology from other places. So there's a crisis, I mean, the city without identity. So I think there's opportunity there to use our tool, I mean architecture tool, to using the shape, the space, the, I mean, the quality of architecture to show how to bring this uh, goal into a high-rise structure. Because when we talk about the urban quality, you know what uh, public space means, the green space artistic quality of a, a urban space. But uh, in the high-rise, it's uh, rare that any place can realize this goal. So I think that's our challenge. How to bring all these urban qualities into vertical structure. I think what interests me is that this new in a young <laughs> firm, right, in Australia. We worked with a uh, several high-rise developers in, in, in the past. My experience was uh, it's a really tough subject to challenge. People with a long, solid experience, at the same time, they may have a very ways to work and you cannot change them. In this case, it seems very open, the game-changing, all this word, new concept, this word keep keep coming in the in the in the document, and, and it seems the vision become more priority in in this in this case. I, I think this is a perfect match. I feel we have a freedom and a encouragement to to propose what we think is right. Also excited about you know, the other respectful architect you, you selected. Looking forward uh, to see other proposals. There are so many competitions ar around the world, uh, but seems like here in our process, 
all the architects and clients together trying to find something. That interests me very much.